Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Um, this is going to be the sad story of our two month build that we've done and now can't take it anywhere because of the coronavirus has shut down the fucking full drive park. So, um, yeah. So yeah, we fucking, um, I skipped videoing a lot of stuff because we were rushing through this to get it done for fucking, for the park. So I don't know how well the video is going to be for you, but. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall introduce you to the pig, the bitch. This is 1995 GQ, uh, six inch flexi coils. So ridiculous lift, but fuck it, we're gonna send it on that. Um, RB30, let go through a rod. New RB30, I'm gonna put that one together. Throw it back in this cunt. Um, uh, wheels flat, but I'll be using the the bead locks and the tires that Ash has been using. Um, well, that he's been borrowing off me on his high locks, so we're going to use them. So Intec manifold, basically brand new radiator. Um, we got a new left door, a new left fender, because um, those are a little bit dented. A whole bunch of parts, boxes and shit, new seals, um, yeah, you name it, she good, already complimentary mud in the floor, this bitch is gonna be my, um, uh, fucking beach goer, and I'm gonna tow it up the park and thrash it, so... You'll see more on this later. There you guys. So, um, midweek update. Um, I got new head bolts. Yeah, I'll talk down with the new gasket in it. Um, I got the harmonic balancer off. I have a, a puller tool. Makes it easy. We had a real shit time getting this fucking gear off. Uh, there's nowhere to put the puller on. Um... It's not supposed to be that fucking tight. I've heated it up, got it glowing red, and I still can't fucking move it. It's on there, so I think I'm just gonna have to get a new one. They're about 70 bucks. Um, oh, yeah. Got our new inner cooler. So it's a return to flow, so it goes down the tank and goes back. Um, I don't know if I told you I was turbo on this, but we turbo on it. So that'll just, we'll just take this condenser out. No need for aircon. And throw it in there and we're gonna put the 2J turbo on that we never use, because we never use the 2J. So fuck that, zoom in real bad. That GT3582. We're gonna slap that on there. Now we're going away in about two months. I don't know if I'll turbo it before then because I just got to get the cunt going. Um, or if I just put it back together and then turbo it later when we get back. I don't know, I'll see. Those are F-Truck shocks. I got them for the back of that, but they're too big. So they're going in the back of this. It's gonna push that crush tube out and it works perfectly. Um, just need front shocks now, and yeah, it's pretty well, pretty well on its way to getting done. So, see you for the next update. Hey guys, um, we did a thing. We got off the trailer. I went and picked up a real cheap set of uh, Bajar cores, the 37s on 15 by 10 inch rims, minus 44s. So your usual shit. Um. Yeah, she's fucking pretty high. Definitely a bit high for me, but I'm gonna rock it and see how she goes. There's it. There's Daniel's cruiser. It's got we assume standard suspension, two inch bigger tires, and two inch body lift. So we measured it's about five inches higher on that. Um, yeah. 
intercooler fits we're behind the grill it just got to trim a little bit on the bottom and hole saw two holes out there for the pipes to run back in still fucking with that got to get a couple more parts and shit um but yeah five hundred dollar set of fucking bajar claws can't really complain you got a bit of shred in them so yeah fucking trying to get it come done before easter four day weekend i'm gonna thrash the living shit out of it howdy guys um just an update on this fucking specimen um haven't really done anything in the engine bay i just tidied up some lines got rid of the ac um he had the ac yeah previous owner had the ac system open got all rainwater and all shit through it and i can't be bothered clean and everything um he had a broken line here there you go broken line so i'd have to buy a new one of that i'm just deciding i'm not going to run the ac i'm just going to keep the fan and the heater um for a thrasher it'd be fucking it'd just be fine i can put up with a bit of heat the windows work um this girl this girl i've got all together um, it's, it's a bit of a bit set right now, so it's running a, it's a turbo block, so it runs a different oil pump, different water pump, different bottom timing cover, and so the old timing cover is longer on the bottom, it doesn't match up with the old top, so I need to get a turbo top, or whatever the f fucking variance is, I'm not too sure with this shit, but I know the turbo ones are longer. Um... I got me GT3582 mounted onto this presumably eBay manifold I picked up for $300 with a free turbo that didn't actually even fit the manifold. That's a T3 and that's a T4 manifold, so I don't know why he sold it, but I just needed a manifold and a wastegate. I got a wastegate and a big boy wastegate too. Um, what else have we done? Yeah, put all the top shit on. It's all timed up, ready to go. I had the tapper cover on, but it was removed for, oh my god, that looks very pink in the photo, or the video. Holy fuck, does that look pink. It's actually purple. That's closer to what it looks like. So, yeah, no, that looks extremely pink in the fucking video. It's very much a purple. I'll have to get it out in the sun for you one day. Um, that purple. What else did I, oh, took the rear tire off, so that, that little 31 that was mounted on the back, I took that off, took the carrier off, it looked cool, I liked it, it looked real funny, having a 31 on the back and 37s on the side, but it sort of come up to here, and I know for sure I'd back into something. Nearly got all the parts out of the back of this. Took the door card off, um... The bracket that actually gets spot welded into the inside of the door for the hinge had actually broken off, so you could wiggle it up and down. Um, so I've redone the spots, spot welds. They're a little bit dodgy. It was very thin around that area. They've been pulled on so many times, and it broke all the other ones on the inside I couldn't get to, so I just ran a little stitch down that. Um, I don't know, man. It's been a couple of weeks. One week? It's been a whole week since I've updated you guys. It painted the outside. Um, so yeah, as she sits, um, I got some shocks for it. These are the, um, not right, they are way too long. I got those given to me. But those F-Truck shocks are fairly okay. Um, not as much up travel as I'd want. It's about 70 mil up travel. But I don't really want too much more because it is pretty high. I uh, got these given to me as well. These are six inch Land Cruiser, six inch lift Land Cruiser shocks. They have about 40 mil up travel. So again, not my cup of tea, not enough up travel. Hopefully with the engine in, it'll come down a bit and give it a bit more, but um, not gonna lie, the budget's running a bit thin guys. So that's what she is, that's what I get. Um, that hub, that inner axle seal, it's leaking like crazy. It's just leaking out, just sitting there. 
I'll probably just leave it. I'll keep filling it full of oil until I put a locker in the front. It might be after this trip. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Um, and I will definitely update you guys with some more interesting stuff next weekend because we've got a whole bunch of parts coming in for this. And it's start time to get cracking on this because we did uh, Daniel's head gasket. I don't know if you can see it. His car's over there. Got his head gasket done this weekend, so his car's ready. Ashley's is almost ready. We got to get some, um, just some couplers for his radiator, and that's done. And then we just got to focus on this. So seven weeks out, boys. Seven weeks out. We're going hell for leather. Hey, fellas and uh, gents, ladies, gents, whoever the fuck's watching, probably no one. Um, so you've missed a fair chunk of R and D and a fair bit of fucking work going to this thing so let's go through a quick recap before we inform you on what's happening the rest of the day demon airbox um got piping kit in i uh, had to buy some other piping stuff as well to make it work properly so i'm gonna get that one lengthened and bead rolled um that one i'm hoping sort of works i had to get a slightly angled coupler to go across to go into there hopefully that works and misses this four inch it's getting a bit tight on this side um, so that one's just got to come up a bit of straight in here for mass sensor angle into that bitch hopefully that works um, honestly guys I can't remember exactly what I updated these on last time so we'll just probably go through it all again so the engine's in I've thrown the wiring on the top and plugged in most of it. Um, so I've got to take all these hoses off. I got new ones because the fuckhead cut that and it doesn't fit on the thermostat housing anymore. Um, I had to get a new one of that outlet. Got it on the floor because it's it was corroded as fuck. Um, what do we got now? I got I got me some hood struts, so this can't opens up pretty wide for a, for a GQ. Normally normal bonnet opening, but that's as far as the hinges will go for a GQ because normally they sit oh fuck like there, which is pretty shit. But we got that we got that uh, got that good going on here. Let's, All right, um, top mounts for the intercooler are on. I've still got to do something about the bottom, so it just sits here and shakes. Cut that out so we can put the hoses through. They literally just fit between the radiator and the air box, which I was sort of worried about. Um, just some other piping on the ground. I uh, cut and sleeved the drag link, and I cut and put a solid spacer in the center of that. So it was big enough I could put a big spacer in the centre and I welded it and then I just ran some welds across to make it not dip down so far. So now the front wheels are actually square with the body because they were not before, they were quite the way out. Um, just ran the Christmas tree drill bit through the front. It was just too small to put the D shackle on. Um, not quite uh, the sturdy recovery point, but it is a point so uh, put another spare D shackle on the back what do we got in the back here so old compressor dad gave me boost gauge um, extended brake lines these cunts are fucking huge um, so I got the light bar for the front uh, catch can which isn't going to go back into the car it's just going to catch most of the oil vapor and dump it out on the ground um, thermo fans from a BA so these like Bosch fans I'm going to make those fit the radiator some more intercooler piping um, hose clamps these are the new radiator hoses so I got, I got the silicon ones um, 
for oh an AN conversion line kit for the turbo feed and drain. I don't know if we'll be able to see it from underneath. So I had to get one more fitting to go on that gigantic fucking stock hole. Um, so we've got the got the plates top and bottom. Um, got I did get a new line made up, so it came with this line. Needed some slightly different fittings, and it was a little bit too long, so I got another one made up. Uh, probably trust this one a bit better as well. So that'll be for the turbo. There's adapter for the block. Um, there's the the water neck. Some little radi some bungs to block off the heater. Some shims for the rear diff. We want to lock that cunt down tight. Uh, that's the the end fitting for the block. Uh, overflow tank just to. A SAS one from like Autobahn just to get rid of that big white one that's cracked. Where is you cracked? Yeah, very fragile and brittle and shit. Um, and got some got some wanker mods, some uh, lights for underneath when we go night driving. But we should be able to start this cunt today. I was waiting on all that AN lines and shit so I don't spew oil everywhere. Fingers crossed, and I'll update you when this cunt starts. guys um got the intercooler pipes done uh luke from lm fabworks tigged those up for me um just made a plate bolts onto the the math sensor still need to put o-ring in there and then we're gonna goop it even though it doesn't leak anything now but um got the downsizer we're waiting for that fucking one for a while so, still got to do the bottom inner cool mounts, so the top ones are done. Got the hole cut for when we did the snorkel. The airbox is mounted. It's mounted over further when it, where it normally mounts, so it's a little bit hard to get these bolts out. But you can still get the air filter out and service it. I've done the bonnet pins, because obviously we lost the, the latch when we put the inner cooler there, because I couldn't put the inner cooler any lower because of the... Um, I don't know how well this is going to show where the fucking guard runs up. Um, got the catch cam mounted. I haven't run the lines yet, obviously. Um, still waiting on another four inch to come from this side to there. Um, this is three and a half, which real pissed me off because I thought it was four inch, but that's what this uh, adapter's for. Doesn't really matter. It's just a, just a suck inside, so there's no pressure in it. Um, yeah, so this is basically it for now, guys. I was mounting up some uh, some rock lights, these are aluminium rock lights, for uh, a bit of wank factor, show a bit of light. Um, overflow bottles all mounted. Still got to get the washer bottle done. Um, runs, drives. Sounds pretty good. I don't know how much boost it's making, so I haven't hooked up the boost gauge yet. Um, but yeah, fortunately with this coronavirus stuff, we can't take it to the park anymore. And I will, um, yeah, you guys will see this update. I'll probably get a Haltech ECU or some shit for it, get it tuned properly, and um, I guess you'll see when it hits the tracks. Thank God, thanks for watching guys. And that is a lot brighter in the video than it is on the phone, uh, uh, in real life. That's like, it's not that bright. But look, I told you as I'd get out in the sun. Oh, see you guys.